The US long term bonds have broken new low. The yield curve is inverted for two years by now. Inflation is still uncertain, meaning interest rate may not ease at all. But yet the stock market are breaking new high. And we have Grey Rhino here in this market. Grey Rhino is a large and visible animal that cannot be ignored. Try not to get too close to them because when they start charging, we can never outrun them. In this market context, we have a big obvious problem that investors completely ignore until it becomes a crisis. It is different from a black swan which is a rare and unpredictable event. But when we can recognize there are problems that many do not understand, we have already won half the battle. My name is Kon Hao. My work at this channel, as always, is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into this subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And let's discuss about the big problem number one, the T-bonds. And we can see that this long-term uptrend, it has been broken and it seems that it's going to be in this way. There's a transition of uptrend over the last 40 years to a downtrend. And we also know that over the years, the credit rating companies has been downgrading the US T-bonds. And the T-bonds is where the government borrows money from investors with the promise to pay back the principal along with interest. When the trend remain on this downtrend, it also means that US will find it harder to raise fund in the future. And let's discuss about problem number two, inverted yield curve. And for more than two years by now, since the early 2022, in early June 2022, that it have exceeded a record of 624 days during the 70s and 80s inflation crisis. And when the yield curve has inverted like this, and we can see that this was July 2022, and before that, the two years, the short-term tenure, the interest rate was lower than the 10 years. But since July 2022, the two years tenure, the interest rate is higher than the 10 years. That's called inversion. And it means that whenever the yield curve is inverted, it also means that recession is near. And I know that many of us, uh, in a way, have mocked the economists that they are wrong on the recession. In fact, they are not wrong. They just did not get it right on the timing. And let's discuss about problem number three, inflation. Inflation is persistent, and we could see here since for about a year by now, that inflation is staying at about 3%, and there's this plateauing effect. And it seems that inflation to me is you don't have to be rocket scientist to understand that likely inflation is going to move up from here. And let's look at the data point on all these commodities. Gold is at a new high, and we can see that soybean over the last one month has moving up. And I'm referenced to the COVID-19 years where basically all these commodity prices are still much elevated compared to about 2022. And let's look at the rise. It's still around the all-time high. And we can see that corn over the last two months has been aging up. And especially the meat right now, the red meat, the cattle is breaking new high this month. And when all these data points higher, it also means that inflation should start to move up. CPI will subsequently will take a few weeks to move up. And it means that when inflation is higher, interest rate will move higher. When interest rate is higher, it hurts businesses and borrowers. The big question is, what can we do now? And let's look at the stock market. And since that the craze is still on, I would join them. Buy on dips. But with great cautiousness. And I will prepare to hedge when the time is right. My coming tutorial, we will be able to spot it when it started to turn. And how about inflation? And I think likely it's going to stay up. Therefore, interest rate and yield should be still continue to rise. And let's look at 
this two years yield, where I believe that the uh, yield curve is still going to be inverted. It means that the short term tenure, like the two years, will move up faster than the 10 years. So what I intend to do is that I will continue to buy on dips, for example, like all these, and we can see that there's a very nice uptrend line. So these are wonderful support. On the next dip, definitely I will not give you a miss somewhere at around 4.44 or 4.45 around there to look out to buy on dips. And how about bonds? So bonds as the bonds continue to turn, and that's what we see here. You have broken this uptrend line, and I believe that it's going to resume this or continue this mode of downtrend. It means that I'll take every opportunity to sell into strength like this. And we can see very clearly, sell into strength. And now we are in the mode of uh, the retracement is there. And I believe that the bonds will continue to move down. And now that the grey rhino has set its foot into the market, I will continue to keep my eyes open to see and look out for any new development with ears not just to hear but to listen and a heart to understand despite all the noise and we should know when the rhino begins to charge stay tuned for my coming tutorial remember to subscribe to my channel the market are always telling us on their next move join us in our weekly case study and discussion click on my profile icon or description to find out more feel free to leave me any comments below i love to exchange ideas with you really happy that you stay through this tutorial you have many great trading weeks ahead